Welcome, it's your friendly neighborhood Badger here and I am back with a short video on my day one exploration into the Harvest League mechanic. Now it has been a little bit confusing to get my head around but I think I've got a fairly good idea of how this does work and I want to run you through how I've been going through the whole process. So for those of you who have just started the league or are still trying to get a, a, your head around the league, I'm just gonna go a, a couple of steps of you know what the league mechanic actually is, how to proc it and everything like that, and then go into a, a couple of other more in-depth mechanics about this all. So first of all, I'm just gonna jump into this map and just show you, obviously, if you've been playing, you would have been coming across these seed caches like this. Basically, you click on the seed cache and you drop some seeds. That uh, is fairly self-explanatory. Then Ashabi opens a portal to her sacred grove and you do get to go inside and basically start cultivating your seeds. Now as you can see here, I'm just going to do a little bit of a walk around. I have quite a lot of seeds cultivated. I'm going to go through a couple of different steps, but these seeds that you originally got here from the seed cache at the start are going to be tier 1 seeds. You can very easily... Uh, First of all, you get given one of these life force collectors. You put them on the ground and you just cultivate seeds, everything like that, fairly self-explanatory. And then uh, once the seeds have all cultivated over a number of different maps, what you can do is you can click this button here, begin harvesting life force, and you can start fighting these monsters. Now, you may have already been doing this. It's very easy to, to uh, get going. But you see here as well, I have dropped a vivid razor leg grain, which is a tier two seed which is what I was hoping would drop, because then I can start to talk about the other tier uh, of seed mechanics. So first of all, if we have a look at this seed here, this tier two seed says it consumes 29 wild units of condensed life force per growth cycle and requires four adjacent vivid seeds of at least one tier to grow. When you first read that, you're like, what the heck is this? What does this even mean? Well, let me take you through a couple of steps. First of all, once you basically defeat all of the monsters and seeds from any of your life force collectors, you can then craft things. We've probably all done this as well. You basically put an item here and you choose any of these to craft. If you don't have anything that you want to craft, you can then condense your life force. You can either condense it straight to the portal itself, or you can link via some uh, pylons and uh, connection, uh, connectors, which I can also show you here. Let me buy a pylon. You can even buy it with your life force. You buy a pylon, craft a pylon, bring a pylon out, place a pylon down, and then you can click on the pylon and link it to anything here. So I'll link it to this, and then I might even link, link this pylon once again to this. That's fairly, uh, well, that doesn't really need to happen, but you can see that's how you can link things together. So you can also buy these storage tanks, and you can condense your life force. What do you do with condensed life forces? Well, then that comes to the next step of cultivating your tier two seeds. This is the thing where people get a little bit confused and I was trying to figure out myself. But again, if you go through the steps, it can be fairly self-explanatory and I can show you a little layout I have here. First of all, you're also going to need a disperser. So let's grab this disperser here, shall we? I'm gonna purchase this disperser, put it in my inventory, uh, look, let's also create a wild life force collector just to show you exactly how this all does work. So how does the mechanic of cultivating your tier 2 seeds actually work? Well, I have purchased some dispersers as well, which you can purchase just from your uh, life force generators. And dispersers are very, very key in cultivating your seeds. This seed that we did see before, this vivid razor leg grain, it consumes 29 wild units of condensed life force per growth cycle. And to be able to get that condensed life force, uh, as stated before, you just need to have it in your storage tanks or on one of your life force generators itself. You then need to link a, uh, uh, basically just put a um, disperser next to uh, where you need these things. So what do we need? We need wild units of condensed. Hang on, we're not gonna put that there. We're gonna actually put this uh, over near something else over there. Yes, great. So we put our disperser down next to our yellow. We'll put our vivid razor leg grain, the yellow seed next to the vivid life force collector, the yellow life force collector. But then we link this disperser to purple. All right, so let me do that here. We grab it right here. Oh, uh, let's, let's uh, break that so we can actually grab it, bring it across, bring it across once again and link that right here. Then once you've linked this disperser, you'll notice you have a disperse life force button. 
If we have a look at this seed right now, it has two checkboxes. So first of all, there requires 21, 29 more wild units of condensed life force to grow. If I click this button here, I can disperse that life force onto this and it is now ticked. All we need now is four more adjacent vivid seeds of at least tier one to grow. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I put one down, one down here, one down here. And you can see I only need one more. I don't have another one in my inventory, so I won't go receive one. But then basically, if you put one more down, you can then start uh, cultivating that razor leg grain. So that's how you do your tier two. It's basically it. it. I'm uh, actually going to just leave that there for the moment. I'm going to pick that up later. But then I'm going to show you a little setup I have in the middle here to be able to cultivate lots of different tier two and even tier three. Uh, um, what are they called? Seeds. Uh, so basically, I have each of my life force collectors one, two, three of the different colors. We have the uh, the primal, we have the vivid, and we have the wild. And in each of these squares, I have one disperser of each of the other colors that is not the life force. So here we have a vivid and a uh, uh, sorry a vivid and a primal. Here we have a vivid and a wild, and here we have a primal and a wild. Uh, primal and wild there. So then basically I can put tier 2 seeds down, I can put tier 3 seeds down, I can cultivate them, I can put seeds around them. Basically, it, it does become self-explanatory if you even just have a small little setup like this here. A very good spot to have this is basically your portal uh, is going to be right about here. You come right up here and there's a nice spot to have a nice little kind of a zigzag, a little V section here of these three. So then basically we just need to link all of our dispersers together, have pylons in the middle just to connect everything. It can be a little bit confusing to uh, to get going. First of all, once you have a little play around, and uh, let me take that map off, you can even have a good little C here. You have a, Take a screenshot if you need to or anything like that. Right there is a nice little setup that you can use. It can get a bit more complicated later on, and I'm going to be making this a little bit better, so any other videos you want to tune into, maybe you'll be able to see some uh, greater things. Uh, but uh, that is basically it with this little video. Hopefully that made a bit of sense. As you can tell, there's a lot of information in all of this. So if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to drop by my Twitch channel. I'm going to be streaming quite a lot during this league start. Uh, and ask any questions you have. I can show you more in-depth stuff while I'm doing it. I can talk through it, everything like that. That is basically it. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. If you enjoy this content and you're enjoying this league start, hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps me to be able to get my content out there to uh, more people. So uh, thank you all so much. Until next time, Badger, out.